And you're welcome back to the polls. Uh, we're keeping our eyes still on the NDC just before we cross you over to Parliament uh, because uh, the internal race at the parliamentary level is also uh, heating up. Spokesperson for the John Mahama uh, campaign, Felix Ufusukwachi, has also picked up his nomination uh, forms and filed subsequently in the Asebu Komankesi constituency. Uh, he's been speaking about that. There's more here. NDC rules and regulations governing this primaries contest uh, requires us to, first of all, pick nomination forms, have them filled, and then submit them for scrutiny by appropriate officials. So I'm here in fulfillment of that particular requirement. And it was a brief encounter. My engagement with the elections officials here indicate that my documents are satisfactory and that in due course I will hear from them on the next steps forward. Well, this is a, a purely voluntary crowd. Truthfully, I had wanted to come here quietly uh, or nicodemously, as uh, it is said in biblical terms, to file my nomination forms quietly and then go on to do the rest of the activities I had planned for the day. But my supporters got wind of it and vowed that they were not going to allow me to come here quietly and leave and that they were going to make a firm statement about their readiness to support me and work hard for me to win this primaries. So I am deeply, deeply encouraged and very grateful to them for the spirit of volunteerism and their ability to mobilize, even in my absence, to support this cause. I'm most, most grateful to them and I'm humbled by their contributions to my campaign. Well, I mean, I made the first attempt and I came quite close. I lost by a measly 176 votes, which is mighty close. So if a candidate comes that close in an election, it only makes sense that you repeat that candidate. And we all know the Essene Central area to be uh, an area dominated by the new patriotic parties, Kennedy, uh, a Japan. But there's one man on the NDC's ticket, uh, Nurin Shaibo, who's seeking to uh, turn the narrative and to, of course, challenge that long-held uh, position by the NPP. Nurin, it's a good uh, time to be speaking to you. Welcome to the polls. Thank you very much. Uh, you, you know that the contest in which you're going for, right? Uh, you're seeking to become uh, the MP or the parliamentary candidates for the Asin Central constituency. That, that will be a tough one for you, you agree? Well, I don't think that's, well, I don't think that's a tough one. Um, before I commence, um, I would say um, I'm greeting the whole entire Asin Central constituency. Right. Uh, my party constituency chairman, hmm. um, Baba Garba, the regional chairman, Professor Siedu, the national chairman, and then all the entire NDC in Asin Central. Hmm. Um, I think um, me contesting for the Asin Central seat, it shouldn't be a tough one because that seat was before it was the NDC seat. Oh, it, it used to be an NDC yeah. area and then of course so we the lost, NPP came through and for a long time now they've true. been running. Like yeah, for the past 24 years, yes. we lost that one back, yes. way back in 2020, Yes, I'm sorry, 2000. And then now we're trying to recapture our seat. Okay. Well, what's your plan for the area? At, at least you've not gone past the voting stage where the delegates have endorsed you uh, but why do you feel you'd be that best bet for the NDC in the Asin Central area? Well um, we all know Asin Central um, is a constituency we like the youth are going out to work hard right. and then they're trying to get employment and stuff like that due to that even though I've I'm not a parliament, uh, I'm not in parliament yet, I've not occupied any government position. Right. But even with that, I've been able to, you know, assist the youth. Uh, in creating, oh, you've been helping them? Yeah, yeah like, mm -hmm. yeah, we've been creating employment. As, I, as we speak now, um, I've built a multi-million company in the constituency, right. um, which is providing employment for the youth. What's, what, what do you do there in that company uh, that well, you're talking about? Um, basically, we do water. And, uh, both bottled water and sachet water, but now we start with the sachet, and then we'll be doing like um, fruit juice and stuff like that. So we, it's like it's a phase. So we are in the first phase of our um, of our campaign. And you've been doing this for how long? Um, well, at the constituency, right. um, I think um, we started operating like close to a year now. A year six now. Months, year. What would you say to someone who says, "Well, Nurin Shaibu is simply doing this because of the votes. Uh, well, he's got some money somewhere." Uh, he's come to set up a company just to try and deceive the, I mean, that just quote and unquote, to use, to, to use that word, if you allow me, the youth and to try and get more votes. Some say that's all you're doing. No, well, I understand, you know, this right. is politics and then everybody has his view and, and I respect each and everybody's view, you know. Right. 
But what I would say is like, you know, I'm, I'm with my people right. and they know exactly what I can do. Mm. Um, my track record shows everything. Right. This is not the first time we try to help our people. Um, even though we are not in parliament, we've never gone to parliament, we've mm. never held any government position, like I said. But if you go to the constituency, in every community, I have a signature written there. Right. Um, as we speak now, we've been able to, you know, build a, hosp uh, sorry, a police station okay. for the people of Asien Kropon. You did that? Yes. Wow. Yeah, like there's a whole police station which is there. And then um, the community, they started doing it. And then they came to tell me like, hey, this is what they're doing. Then they need support. I'm and like, you know you what? Ahead. Since you guys have this initiative and you, you this youth people have this initiative, I was so proud of the youth. Right. Because that's all what we are trying to, you know, do. Hmm. So when I saw that, I was like, well, you guys, so hold on. Okay. So I am back on that and then I constructed the police okay. station. For, for how long have you been with this party? And... Are you really known within the Asin Central area? Well, way back on campus mm -hmm. at Cape Coast. Okay, um, so you, you've been to UCC? No, right? Cape Coast Polytechnic. Cape, uh, Polytechnic, yes. okay. So right. before I travel and left the country, okay. so I was a TAIN organizer right. on campus. So right. during that time, we served the party. Um, I've, been, I've also been a polling agent in the 20, 2008 election before I left the country. So. We've been, we've been going for... So, so you've been out we've for, been for some time? In and time. out. No, okay. I've, I, I normally live in oh, Ghana, in so, you Ghana. Know, okay. but right. I stay in the state too. Right. So we've been out, in and out, and then during the 2012 elections, we supported the party mm. at the parliamentary level. That time we felt it wasn't the right time, mm. and in 2016 too, we helped. But we realized 2020, the youth were like, hey, you know, you know what, Noreen, you have the vision, you, have, like, you don't have the mission, you think about us, so we think you can do it. So they pushed me through that, and then... This you, where we are. You, you've been making the attempt as the NDC in that constituency, and it's never worked for you. Uh, why, why not? Why not back down? Just okay. You you just watch, allow the the current uh, MP for the area run some more. When he says, "Well, I'm not going anymore," uh, then you take you, you, well, you take over as a party. I don't believe in that. You know, I believe in democracy. As I said, we lost the seat way back in twenty right. two thousand. Mm -hmm. So um, as we speak now. The people are saying, as, as we said earlier on, mm -hmm. I think I have to correct that statement. Right. Mm -hmm. They are discerning people. You know, they don't, they don't actually, it's not like the, they are MPP people. Okay. Or, but it's just because they have some belief in some individuals. And then they, so it will not be fair to describe their sins and draw no, people no, as, no, as Because fully, that was the seat we lost. You know, that was the seat the NDC lost. Okay, so that was right. the seat we've ever occupied. Right, right. We're back from 1990. To 92 to 2000. That's and when we lost the seat. The mm -hmm. And now the MPP are like yeah. occupying that seat. Yeah. So... They are discerning people, you know, mm -hmm. and there are people who look at issues and stuff like that. We lost the 2020 election mm -hmm. based on one or two things, and right. then we've come back to correct that mistakes. Right. You know, we just had two months to campaign, but even with that, we're able to close the vote margin, and then, right. you know, and right. then as we speak now, we're ever ready to, 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 to win the seat. Are you coming up against some more people? Because the scene central doesn't seem to be a lucrative area for someone who's in the NDC. Uh, you'd want to put your money elsewhere, running elsewhere in other constituencies that are considered quote-unquote safe. Are you not worried about that? No, no. I've, I've never been worried. You know, I think about my people and, you know, my people, you know, they, they also believe in me. And, you know, as I said, we started from somewhere yeah. and that brought, that's what brought us where we are today. Right. You know, as I said, we've not been in power. We are still constructing a chip compounds around communities in the constituency, mm. which our handwriting is everywhere, as I said. Right. And when you go there, you can testify. And also, we're trying to you know, eradicate unemployment in the constituency by also getting in touch with people who can you know, help us create more employment in the constituency. That's, that's our vision. Our vision is to come to help the youth and also develop the constituency. Mm. Uh, so how, what's the next step for your campaign? Um, what are you... Uh, what message are you spreading across, sending to all delegates and grassroots members of the NDC? Well, I think um, this is a, since we lost a seat way back in 2000, mm -hmm. um, this is the first time the NDC in Asin Central have gotten one candidate going on a post. Oh. So that should tell you where we're coming from. That should tell you the belief and the trust the people of Asin Central have in me. Right. And, you know, um, as I said, I'm not going to be here, to, you know, to just um, say, give fake promise and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Our handwriting is always on each one. Okay. Coming in. What, what do you say that, well, the experts are saying you have a better chance now because Kennedy and Japan is now running for president? Well, that's what they think. You know, yeah. <laughs> going, like, as I said, way back in 2000, we just have two months to campaign. 
because we had some internal political wrangling yeah, in our constituency. Mm. So, um, even with that... The, the fact that it's now going for president, so yes. it's now a safe and as I said, protest for you. There were a lot of things that happened, right. you know, and then I don't want to speak down air now, okay. mm. but we've put in our things in place. Right. Even 2020, mm. we were so close, okay. you know, to recapturing back our seats. Right. And I'm assuring you, God willing, 2024, mm. that's... It's, 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 if, it's if, if Kennedy Ejipon makes the U-turn and he says, well... I think it was, I'm not running again. I want to just serve my people at the uh, co constituency level. Will, will you go out of the race? But even when he was, even <laughs> like, two, as I said, right. I contested him 2000. In 2000, right. Uh, 2020, sorry. 2020, I contested right. him way back in 2020. So even that time when, you know, he, they were in power, his government was in power. Mm -hmm. And even with that, it, with all, everything they had, mm -hmm. we never had that chances and right. stuff like that. So if I'm able to contest him way back in 2020, How much and then if he's coming back in 2024, no, okay. as I said, we've laid our boots okay. and we're ever ready. Whoever the MPP brings in or the, uh, any political party bring in, mm -hmm. we're going to And, and your win. target is you're winning by which margin? Um, as we speak, like I'm going to be, like as we've done our calculation stuff like that, we're going to at least not less than 30,000 votes okay. for both presidential and parliamentary. Mm. Interesting. And we'll be watching that. Uh, we'll see how that will go. You have any message for those who are watching us now, particularly those who are within your constituency? Well, what I would say is like um, closely, I would think um, as in Centra, um, the whole constituents, the youth, um, the chiefs, mm. the religious leaders, Central Regional as a whole, please. What we would say is like, this is a time. Right. David Ba. Is in Noreen Midima Shai was in to capture. Oh, you're known as da David. David Ba, yeah, David because Bar, of the how... battle we had way back oh, in 2020. Wow. So it was like so, so it's against David going Go against Goliath. Goliath. That was but now your Goliath, it's no, it's no more. No there, more. So, yeah. just so like, but still we yeah. still have the name. So it's a know? cool time for for David to become the king. This time it, we, we, we we're going to we're going to <laughs> well, nothing can stop us. Uh, we, we, we we can just wait and see what what the Ghanaian people will decide. Uh, but that that makes it a smooth sailing for you. At least the primaries would there still be primaries within your constituency? No, we're not going to have Okay, so because it's, you're it's going unopposed, unopposed. Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we wish you, um, I don't want to say we wish you the best, but we'll see, we'll see what happens and then we'll, we'll be here to break the news when it happens. Thank you very much. Uh, and and I'll, we'll be waiting for that. Thank you very much. And I would like to say um, today is the first day of Ramadan. Right. I wish all my Muslim brothers mm. and everyone everywhere mm. happy Ramadan. And also, um, I would say, this is the time that we all have to pray. All Muslims should pray together. Mm. So at least we can let Ghana grow fat better. Mm. Okay, then. We'll see you again. Thank Shabu. you very much. Thank you nice for joining us. Right, thank uh, you. And, and please stay with us. Mm.